just as I got the news, I called my wife Amy to talk to her. Uh, she's driving with my daughter Molly and to talk to her. Just a, a real reminder of what's most important at the end of the day for all of us and just that, um, you know, any illusion that we had that um, progress is inevitable or that the change that we need is going to come of its own accord, shattered in, in moments like these. Uh, and, and that is upon every single one of us. There, there is no luxury in this democracy uh, of sitting this one out. Um, whether it is gun violence, whether it is many of the issues that we discussed today about economic inclusion and the right to organize, whether it's the ability to see a, a health care provider, whether it's confronting the fact that we've got kids in cages on the U.S.-Mexico border, in a democracy, this is not the decision of one person, no matter how much power he may have. It is on every single one of us to make this right. And so um, I just wanted to tell you, I'm grateful to be here with you, grateful to be in this work with you. And to the people of El Paso, uh, any of you who are here today or who are out there right now, we are thinking about you, and we want to make this better going forward. Thank you all for having us out. Yeah.